Hey Virgo, thanks for visiting. Uh, yeah, this is your reading for uh, now, from now I should say, to the end of February. And uh, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I don't mind. Uh, I'm just going to start your reading right now. So uh, the first card you have your past is uh, the Eight of Wands. So lots and lots of things coming in, all these wands. This is like action, it's like communication, really, really, really fast, lots and lots of communication. It looks really positive, this feels really positive to me. It feels like lots of positive communication came in for you. Uh, it might be love, yeah, I think this is love. This is love attention, positive attention. Uh, might have been a little bit overwhelming because if you look at these wands, they're kind of rushing in. So you might have been, oh, this is a bit much for me. <laughs> but it looks like someone really wanted to show you their feelings. And I, I really hope this resonates because it feels to me, it feels beautiful, really beautiful. It's like, I want you to know this is how I feel. And it, it feels, I don't know why I'm getting this. It just feels a little bit traditional, actually. They might be a traditional kind of a person, I don't know. Or maybe they use traditional language. Maybe they were quite formal in the way they spoke to you. I don't know. Well, we're that, this must be what it is, because we've just had Valentine's Day. Uh, and that's quite a traditional uh, thing to do, to give someone flowers or to give someone something on Valentine's Day. Uh, so a card or something, whatever. So maybe it had something to do with that, but this is communication. So if if it was something on Valentine's Day, it had lots and lots of words, lots and lots of words, or they said a lot when they gave you this gift, or they just said a lot to you. So lots and lots and lots of words coming in. Uh, I'm seeing lots of messages as well. Again, it's a little bit overwhelming, <laughs> I have to say. It's like, whoa. Um, so yeah, it might be that you're not used to someone being so attentive, but um, make the most of it if that's you. I hope you did. Um, and yeah, it's really good. Again, it feels very, very positive. Um, but if you want to slow anything down at any time, you know, if you feel like it is too much for you, absolutely do that because you've got to be comfortable um, with, you know, the pace that things go. So don't forget that. You can do that if you feel like that. But it does feel very, very good. Um, you have had relationships in the past, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that, where they have been a bit rushing forward and then back again. Not lots and lots of attention like this, but someone's rushed forward, back again. I'm actually seeing, I'm actually seeing a past relationship where someone came forward, went off again, promised lots of things. I'm seeing they promised lots and lots of things. And then I, I think you probably took them back after that. Uh, and then they turned back around again after all those promises. So it might be that you're, you're kind of like, well, I've had someone promise all these things before and it didn't work. I'm just a little bit worried. I don't know. So, you know, you've probably got a little bit, bit of that in your mind as well, if that's you. Um, but I can't see anything wrong with this love connection. So if this is all resonating with you, it's absolutely fantastic for you. Very positive. I'm really happy for you if it is you. Um, but yeah, again, you have to be comfortable with the pace things go. So that make sure that you're in charge of that for yourself and that you feel comfortable in that. So yeah, the next card you have your past is uh, the world, which is fantastic. This is also really, really nice for love. You know, this is victory. This is all about feeling happy, feeling free. Um, you know, in the middle of this laurel wreath, beautiful freedom, happiness. You know, you've got all the world around you. Very, very, very nice card. And also you've got the Queen of Cups under this, which is all about emotion. So all these are showing me that if this is a love connection, if this is someone that came and gave you lots and lots of messages, really positive, that looks like a very positive connection coming into the future as well. So there's a big future there. Um, but yeah, again, at your pace, you are in charge of this. So a few more things I'm getting with the world card. Um, okay, I hope this makes sense. I'm, I'll, I'll try and explain this to you, what I'm seeing. It feels like you've been looking for an answer to something and that you've been looking for this for a really long time, doing research, looking around, calling people. 
it feels like you've been everywhere looking for this, all over the world, because this is the world card, not literally, obviously. But yeah, you've been, you know, calling, searching, all that kind of thing, looking for this answer. Uh, it feels like it might be about someone else. Yes, it is. It's you're you're looking uh, about this, or you're looking this up, or you're finding this out for someone else. It feels like you're taking care of someone and you're trying to help them. It might be a child. It doesn't have to be. It might be your child though, or someone you're taking care of. It might be something like a diagnosis or some kind of uh, learning difficulty or some kind of problem. It might be a physical problem. It's some kind of thing. It's quite a rare thing, I think, because you couldn't find an answer. If it was something that everyone had or that was quite common, um, you'd probably find an answer a lot easily, or a lot easier, I should say, than you have. So it's something that is quite rare, I think. Now, so if this is you, if this is making sense to you, uh, you might have to travel a little bit further for this thing to find out this answer. You might have to do a bit more research as well. Uh, I, I know you're probably rolling your eyes at me right now because you've probably done lots and lots of research. I can see that. You've been all over the world with this. That's what this is telling me. But there's someone that's a little bit farther away than where you've looked already. Uh, and I think there's help there. There's some help there. There's someone that can help you. I'm seeing a man. So there's definitely a man who can help you. Don't give up. Keep on researching. It's someone that's out of your way out of your town, might be in another city, might be in another somewhere, I don't know, far away from you, uh, might be in another country even, it might be traveling worldwide because this is the world card, I don't know, but there is someone who can help you. So keep on looking. Please don't give up on this because there is help there. That's what the message in this card is. So the last card you have your past is uh, the Queen of Cups. So emotion, huge emotion. So this, this love connection, this is why they're a bit full on, I think. Because <laughs> they, they really, really feel a deep connection between you. They really, really feel that. And I keep on getting this feeling that you might want to slow things down a little bit. Uh, so they're probably a little more enthusiastic than you are. I'm seeing that again here. But it looks really good. It looks really nice. So, you know, let, let it happen. Let it happen. Uh, they, they want you, they want to be with you. Anyway, but you know, again, do what's comfortable with you. Um, okay, so there's something else here. Uh, okay, this is probably going only going to resonate with a few people because it's quite specific, but I'll just tell you what I'm seeing here. So this queen's obviously quite a dreamy queen. She's got lots of dreams. She kind of, um, uh, you know, she daydreams, she thinks about things, she's got all these ideas, she's very creative, imaginative. So I think you're a bit like that yourself. I think you've got a dream and it's a creative, imaginative dream, just like this queen. Uh, it's inside you right now, I think, if this is you and you're dreaming about doing this thing. Now, again, I think it is something creative uh, because this is a very creative queen, very imaginative. I don't think you're known for your creativity, actually. <laughs> you know, I, I think people around you might not see that side of you because you're really organised, you're good at planning things, and a lot of people see being organised and all that kind of thing as being the opposite of creative. It's like, oh, this creative genius kind of stereotype of forgetting things and, you know, mess everywhere. And then you've got the organised person who's not creative. That's a stereotype. That's a stereotype. That's not true at all. Um, you know, yeah, creative things have to be concept-based. They do. You have to have an idea. So they have to have, be based on a concept. What do you mean by the... I won't go into that. <laughs> I go into the concept of the... I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to talk about what I'm seeing here. So, um, you know, yeah, they need to be concept-based. But you can't, you know, you can't have a piece of music or art without some kind of good song concept. We know that. You've got to have the idea. You've got to have the initial spark of creativity. But once you come up with that concept, all there is after that's hard work. And if you don't make it happen, if you don't make that concept come to life with the hard work, you've got nothing. You haven't got anything. And that's where a lot of people fall down. They've got all these great ideas. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But then when it comes to the work, they, they fall down. And it is work. It's really hard work. Really, really hard work. 
It takes time to do any kind of creative thing and you need to be organized. So for you, I think the organization you have, as well as the creativity, it's a very powerful combination. Uh, so you've got that and you've got staying power as well. You stick with things till the end and that's huge when it comes to creativity. So many people fall away. They have this idea in their head, oh, I'm going to be famous or I'm going to be this or that. They don't think about the work. They don't think about the process of the work. They just think, oh, at the end I'll be this and I'll be that. No, you've got to go through the process. You've got to do the work. So, okay, so I'm seeing something else around this, this creative thing that you want to do or this creative career that you think of. And I think it's some kind of creative career actually. So I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. This is getting even more specific, just a warning. So there's someone there. I don't know if there's someone around you or it's, it's someone you're going to speak to at some time, I think. You're going to speak to this person. Okay, so this is a woman. They've got a lot of really interesting ideas that can help you with, with this creative thing. Yeah, it feels like they're in the industry, actually. They're in this industry that you'd like to get into, I think, if this is you. They know all about this. So they've got lots of contacts. I'm seeing that as well. Uh, I think you might meet them through someone else. I'm seeing that. This is a fantastic person to have around you, I've got to say. Just, just one thing, just be a little bit careful. Um, some of the people they have around them are fantastic, some of the contacts they have. But there's someone here, there's one specific person I'm seeing here. And uh, yeah, they might ask you to do something where you have to pay them. They might say, oh, it's for exposure. Or I don't know, it could be for anything. If someone asks you to pay them for something like this, unless it's for an item or you know, unless you're buying something from them, a service or something, run away. No one does that. It might even harm your reputation. Um, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So it, might, it doesn't have to be this. It might not be anything like this. This is just an example. So if someone says, oh, I've got a gallery and I want to put your painting in my gallery. And you're like, oh, wow, that's fantastic. But you have to pay me. <laughs> you have to pay me. It costs a lot. You know, I have to put drinks on and I have to do this and I have to have an opening night and it costs all this money. So you have to pay me. Or, you know, if if someone says, oh, I've got this music project and I want to include you, but you have to pay me. Run fast. <laughs> Run the other way from anyone like that. That is a scam. There are lots of them getting around. You should not have to pay someone for your creativity. You should be paid for your creativity. So that's what I'm seeing there. So watch out for that. So there's someone like that hanging around this woman, this person. There are some fantastic people around them. It's just about being careful. Um, and uh, I think she wants to work with you. She wants to work with you, this woman. She wants to help you. So it looks really, really good. The potential here is really good. So if you know who this is, if you meet this woman that I'm seeing here, latch on to her, <laughs> latch on to her. Um, okay, so I know that was quite specific, but that was what I was seeing. So hopefully that helps someone. I really hope it does. So the first card you have your present is uh, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you see, this is a really tricky card. And if, if that's all resonating, everything that was in the Queen of Cups, the creative world's full of these people, full of them. They're everywhere. They're like cockroaches in the creative world. But you know, you've got really good intuition and uh, you're a talented person and, and you just need that step up really. You just need the right kind of step up and that's what this woman is. And um, I have to say, it does feel really, really, really positive. So don't give up on this. If you do have this dream, if you really want to do this, if you want to get into this industry, whatever it is, this creative thing, do this thing. Really, really make an effort, really go after this. Doesn't matter how old you are or what stage you're at, or anything like that. Don't listen to anyone who says, oh, you're too young, you're too old, you're too this, you're too blah, 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 rubbish. We're all humans. We're all 
we're all having a human experience. We're not in a factory. It's not like you go along on a conveyor belt and everyone gets off at the right time and everyone puts this part on themselves at this time and everyone gets off at this time and we're all finished at the end. No, no, no. Things develop at different times. Things happen at different times. Babies develop at different times. You know, some little children speak early. Some of them speak late. Some of them walk early. Some of them do different things. We're all like that. We're all human. So don't listen to anyone and don't be around anyone that says, oh, you can't do that and all that. Just ignore that rubbish. So I just feel as if I have to say that to someone. Um, but yeah, this looks so, 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 so positive, really positive. Uh, something's going to happen with this if you keep on going. Uh, keep on going with this. It really feels like you're almost on the verge of something really, really exceptional here. You really are. Um, so don't give up on this. I had to say that to someone. I hope someone really, really gets to hear this because I'm going to see some really amazing music or art or dance or acting or something amazing coming from someone who's listening to this right now. If that's you, don't give up on this. Okay, so the next card you have your presence, the two of wands. Okay, uh, all right, this is what I'm seeing. This is a quite clear actually. It looks like someone feels as if they can't move forward. They want to move forward, they can't move forward. Uh, it feels like this is an axe and they're not contacting you, they're not bothering you or anything like that. Well, maybe they are, but I'm not seeing that here. And yeah, they're really thinking about you and they're really thinking about the life or the time they had with you. Um, okay, so I'm getting this, I'm getting recklessness. That's the one I'm getting, recklessness, being reckless. So, yeah, it feels like you're with this person for a long time. And when, when you separated from them, when, when this happened, when you broke up, they were just totally reckless, totally reckless. They just threw whatever you had together in the rubbish, just like it was nothing. It's like, I'm gonna throw this in the bin, it's nothing. And I think that's what hurt you the most at the time, you know, all that time you'd spent with him, you'd spent all this time with him, you'd built up things together with them. Everything you'd built with them was just thrown away. And yeah, it looks like you got through that, congratulations. And maybe that's why you've, you're really struggling a little bit with this person in the Eight of Wands. Because if someone can throw things away like that, of course you're really worried it's going to happen to you again. So it might be a bit of that there. Um, but what I'm seeing is with this axe, they're alone. They're completely alone uh, and they've got a lot of regrets. I'm seeing that as well. Okay, I'm just seeing this as well. It might not make sense, but I'll just say this. You had something in common with them as well, something unusual, similar birth dates maybe, something like that. There's some date you had in common. Uh, might not be a birth date, it's something. Uh, but yeah, this person's thinking about you. They're regretting things. They want to move forwards in their lives, like the man on this card, but they can't. They can't do that. They're really, really struggling. Uh, and you know, the thing is, when you throw something really meaningful like that in the rubbish, without even thinking, just like it's nothing, and without processing things, it, it can come back to haunt you later, and that's what's happening here. It's coming back to haunt them. And yeah, I'll talk about the justice card here as well, because it's really talking about a similar thing. So, okay, so I hate using this word because people get the wrong idea, but it's, it's karma. That's the only word I can think of. You've had your time of grieving this. You went through a huge amount of stress with this, lots of tears, lots of problems. You really went through it with this. And they didn't have that problem. They just ran away, threw it all in the rubbish. Now it's coming back to them. It's coming back to haunt them. So that's what's happening to them and um, you know it's just like the scales are evening up which is what's on this card these scales so so that's what I'm seeing there okay so the first card you have your future is uh, the Emperor okay I think this might be about this thing you're trying to get answers about uh, yeah again it's something to do with some kind of assessment might be a health thing uh, it's something to do with someone's progress. 
this is someone you care about. Again, it might be a child. I'm seeing that possibility again. Someone you care about. And uh, yeah, it's if, if this is you, it's taking up a lot of your time, lots of driving, lots of waiting around. I'm seeing that as well. Maybe different appointments and things like that. Yeah, it's really, really tiring, but it's absolutely worth it. You're not going to stop doing this because it's really worth it to you um, and it's worth it to this person that you're helping. So now there might be someone who wants to travel with you. Maybe this is a relative because I'm seeing family here and yeah, they want to be around you. They want to help you while you're doing this. So it looks like you probably do need a bit of uh, help. But just be aware of this. Um, I think you probably already know this about this person. They might be a bit difficult to have around you all the time while, you, while you're going through this. I'm seeing a lot of bossiness. I'm seeing a little bit of nosiness. Oh, why did you do that? Oh, you should do this. You should do that. You know what you're doing. You've done the research. You know what you're looking for. You've done the care. You've done all that. You don't need someone coming and telling you what to do. So. You might just have to weigh up whether you want this person helping you or not. Uh, it's up to you, but is it worth having someone helping me? It comes with strings attached. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. So you, you've just got to weigh this up. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing there. But again, with this thing that you're looking for answers for, don't give up. There is someone there. Um, they're a little bit further away. So there's more traveling involved if you want to solve this problem, but it is there. The solution is there. That, that's what I'm seeing again, very, very clearly. Okay, so the next card you have in your future is the King of Swords. Okay, so I, I think there might be a message coming to you. I don't think it's coming directly from this person who's thinking about you, but it is coming from them. It's an indirect message. So it might come through social media, it might come through someone else. It's not gonna come directly through them. Now, this card is a really, really strong, really obvious message. You will have to be a bit like this king. You have to be totally logical. No sentimentality, because I'm getting a lot of sentimentality coming from them. They're looking back over the old times, you know, they're thinking about all the old days and everything like that. You already did that. When you got over this relationship, you went over the old times. You didn't want to. You kept on going over and over and over them. You were really upset. You went through all that terrible time. You don't want to go through that again. Now, you've got someone new around you. I'm seeing that in the Eight of Wands, if that resonates with you. Fantastic. This is someone who loves you. They want to give you all this attention. That's fantastic. So you've got that. You've got this huge potential in this creative work that I'm seeing here as well. You don't need this coming back again. You really, really don't. So I'll talk about the nine of wands here as, as well because it's illustrating the same thing. Look at this man, his head's bandaged. He's come out of this really horrible ordeal, which is what this breakup was, horrible ordeal for you. He's a soldier, he's been in a battle. It was a huge battle for you. You've gotten through the worst, you've gotten through all that. Come out the other end. All I can say here is don't put yourself through this battle again. Don't put yourself through this again. If they've come towards you and they've gone away and they've come back again with promises and they've gone away again and they're coming back again, what do you think is going to happen again? Same thing. And you don't need that. So please, <laughs> please don't put yourself through this. That's the, And usually I don't like telling people what to do. Well, maybe I do sometimes. <laughs> but... I'm seeing this really clearly here and I'm, I'm here to protect you. This is your reading and I care about you. Obviously, you can do whatever you like, but that's my take on this. That's what I have to say. And uh, also, uh, cross watchers, don't be angry. It might not be about you. <laughs> so, Virgo, um, I hope this resonated, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate. Uh, but again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so much for watching.